Hey there, this is Seth, and in this video, we're gonna look at how to program this Lutron Maestro motion sensor light switch. So there's actually a few different models that this will apply to. So if you're dealing with one of these models, the light switch should look like what you see here. So it's really pretty simple. Uh, there's a couple different things we can adjust here. One is called the timeout mode, and the other is the sensor mode, and also the advanced settings. So we're gonna dive right into those right now. So first of all, the timeout mode. So this basically just means how long it's gonna take for this thing to turn off after people leave the room and it does not sense any more motion. We can do this for one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes, or 30 minutes. So all we have to do to set this to whatever mode we want is simply push and hold on this button right here. And uh, we're gonna wait, and in about five seconds, it's gonna start blinking. So when it blinks once, what's happened now is it's gone into test mode. This is just gonna allow you to test the coverage of that motion sensor so you can stand anywhere in the room and move around and see if it turns on, if it senses your motion. And basically this just means it's going to turn off within 15 seconds of not seeing any motion. And when it's in test mode like this, you'll see it blinking like it currently is. So assuming test mode is not what you actually wanna do, let's go ahead and set this to timeout after one minute. So to do that, we would go ahead and click this and hold it. And there it goes blinking once and twice. So now this thing is set to timeout and turn off after one minute of not sensing any motion. So if we want to move this timeout period to five minutes, we would do the same thing, but we're going to wait until it blinks three times. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's the first one. Two, three. All right, so now it's set to timeout and turn off after five minutes of not sensing any motion. And if you wanted to set this to timeout after 15 minutes, you would do the exact same thing I just showed you, but you want it to blink four times before you let go. If you wanted it to turn off after 30 minutes, again, you do the exact same thing, but let it blink five times before you let go and it turns off, and then you'll be all set. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next step here and show you how to program the sensor mode. So when it comes to the sensor mode, this is a little bit less user-friendly to change because you have to actually take this plate off the wall in order to get to the button that you have to push. So I'm gonna go ahead and quick take this thing off. Okay, so once this plate is off, I'm actually gonna adjust this camera just a little bit so you can see the button. It's this little tab that you see right here. So when it comes to how this sensor works, there's three different ways you can have it set up. You can have it set up to automatically turn the lights on anytime it senses motion, or you can set it up so that it only turns on if somebody manually pushes that button. And then lastly, there's also an option where you can have it turn on automatically only if it doesn't sense enough ambient light in the room. So say if this light switch is in a room with a big window and in the middle of the day, you don't need this thing to turn on the lights because there's enough daylight to light up the room as it is. But at night, when there's not any ambient light in the room, you do want it to automatically turn on. And that's what the third mode is. So just starting with that first mode, if we want this thing to just turn on automatically whenever it senses motion, regardless of how much light there is in the room already, we would push this thing down and hold it until it blinks once. All right, there we go. So now it's on auto on mode or also called occupancy mode where it's gonna turn on no matter what as long as it senses motion. So if we wanted to change this though and set it to manual on and auto off or vacancy mode, so it's gonna turn off after the interval that we set, but it's only gonna turn on if somebody pushes this button right here. In order to do that, we would push this thing down and hold it until it blinks twice and then we're gonna let go. So there's the first blink. There's the second. So now it's set to vacancy mode. If we wanted to switch it to that third mode I mentioned where it can decide whether or not to turn on based on the amount of daylight in the room, we just hold this down until it blinks three times. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it that way. So there's the first blink. There's the second blink. And there's the third blank. And just one quick note about this uh, auto on daylight sensing technology. So you might be wondering how much ambient daylight is enough before it decides whether to turn on or not turn on. And the instructions say if the switch turns on when there is enough natural light or if the switch does not turn on when there is not enough natural light, press the large button within five seconds of entering the room. And over time, this interaction will teach the switch your preferred setting. So basically if this thing ever does 
doesn't behave the way you want to under that particular setting. All you have to do is hit this switch if it's not doing the right thing and it will eventually figure out, oh, okay, that's the amount of ambient light that is enough or not enough. So hopefully that makes sense. And lastly, now the advanced settings. So this is just the motion sensitivity at which it will or won't turn on. So if we want the motion sensitivity to be low, all we'd have to do is click and hold both of these buttons at the same time until it blinks once. So go ahead and do that. All right, so now the motion sensitivity is set to low. Uh, however, in my case, uh, I always have mine set to high. So that's what I'm gonna do for mine. And to do that, all we have to do is uh, click and hold those same buttons until it blinks twice. There's once. And there's twice. There you go. That's how you program this light switch. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this helpful. I've actually got another video that explains how to program a slightly different type of switch from Lutron that is a dimmer switch. But because it's a dimmer switch and because there's different controls, the process looks pretty different. So if you have that particular light switch, feel free to go check that one out. I'll link to it below. And uh, I wish you all the best with your light switch.